Please be seated. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester, to the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. And in particular, I'd like to welcome our graduates and congratulate you on all the hard work and magnificent achievements during your time with us. The skills, the knowledge, the experience that you've developed during your time with us, both inside and outside the lecture theatre, well, they'll have given you a strong platform not just to build your career and achieve your goals, but to also succeed in the face of any obstacles you might meet in the future. You'll have struck a balance between life and study, and I'm sure the relationships you've formed will make you the people you are today. We're also delighted to see so many friends, family members, supporters here. We thank you for the care and encouragement you've given to our graduates during their studies, and that's been so important to their success. You can be extremely proud of what they've achieved, and I can assure you that my, I, that, uh, my colleagues across the university are hugely proud too. So 2024 marks the beginning of your next journey, but it's also a really important year in the journey of our university. This year, we mark our bicentenary, 200 years of learning, innovation, research, and community, of which you've all been an essential part. It's an important time for us, and time for us to reflect on the past, just as you're now reflecting on your time here. Our history is one of education, innovation, global influence and change, of pioneers and pioneering discoveries. But this year is an opportunity to celebrate not just the Nobel laureates and the groundbreaking research that's happened here, but every member of our community the lecturers, the tutors, researchers, librarians, caterers, cleaners, well-being staff, res life officers and students representatives, the people that you've met and the experiences that you've shared are as central to making you the person you are as the degree that we will shortly show in your hands. It's our people that make us who we are. It's likely that this is what drew you to Manchester in the first place along with the city itself. And as the UK's first industrial city, Manchester continues to lead the way today, whether through its advocacy for equality, its innate creativity, or the warmth and humour of its people. Our students have always made a huge contribution to the life of Manchester, the life of this city. And once you've lived in Manchester, you're an, honor, uh, you're an honorary Mancunian for life. When you decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make your mark on the future, both for yourselves and for the greater good of society and the environment. As the first university to set social responsibility as a core goal, we encourage all our students to consider their place in the world and how they can stand out and make a difference. And of course, you'll have made strong, supportive friendships and relationships here, and I hope they'll sustain you for many years to come. So throughout the course of your studies and life at Manchester, you'll have gained the skills and knowledge to find success and become the responsible leaders of tomorrow. We will be proudly watching. As you reflect on your past and plan for the future, allow yourselves to be inspired by the university's motto, knowledge, wisdom, humanity. During your studies, you have all, in your own way, enriched and contributed to the University of Manchester as it exists today, 200 years on from its foundation. You have helped shape the future for those who will follow in your footsteps. So today, it's a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success, and I'm sure you will. But this is the beginning of the journey and the, and the beginning of your association with Manchester, not the end. Our support for you continues beyond today's celebrations our career service will continue to offer you help and guidance for two years, and you can continue to make use of our world-class libraries. And when you leave here, you'll join the largest alumni community of any campus-based university in the UK. We're proud to have over 500,000 graduates living and working in more than 190 countries around the world, all linking back to Manchester. So as alumni, you can help future students in so many ways, as ambassadors of the university, through student placements and employment, and directly in the ongoing development of the university. So, as we look forward to what our third century could bring, know that you're vital to our future, 
As Manchester graduates, our doors will always be open to you. I'm now going to uh, introduce Professor Andrew Miles, the Director of Research and Social Sciences, who will say a few words. Thank you. Good afternoon. In this ceremony, we are making, marking the success of University of Manchester students who've completed undergraduate and postgraduate degrees in social science programs, including the disciplinary areas of criminology, economics, data analytics, data science, politics, philosophy, social statistics, sociology, biosocial science, and social research methods. Following on from the Vice President, on behalf of all my colleagues in the school, I want to start by congratulating everybody celebrating today. Your success is a tremendous achievement, testament to your excellent academic abilities, hard work, and determination. I want now to reflect a little on that achievement, what it means to become a graduate social scientist at the University of Manchester. The social sciences help us to analyze and thereby understand action and interaction across society. From individuals to households, families and communities, in villages, towns and cities, through to national institutions, governments and global networks. Their major contribution is to investigate and thereby know the social world we inhabit, to explain it and to inform public debate on it by carefully specifying the challenges we confront and most importantly of all, how we might address them to make the world a better place. Take just some of the current social challenges in the UK transforming not only how we organize ourselves now, but also what we plan for our lives in the future, and which have been brought into sharp focus during the recent general election campaign. These include the ongoing implications of Brexit, questions of devolution, the problem of rising wealth inequalities, the cost of living crisis, and the fate of our public services, has given rise to the biggest wave of industrial strife in a generation. Then, pan out to the hotly contested questions of sovereignty and control that lie at the heart of relationships between peoples and states within Europe and across the rest of the world, and which have been thrown into turmoil by the Russian attack on Ukraine and war in the Middle East. Within such relationships, we must reconcile issues of economic performance, technological change, population movement, social polarization, political engagement, democratic accountability, and national and international security, including the particular challenges presented by online risk and security in the social media age. If that is not enough, we can factor in the relative claims for justice and equality between younger, and older generations, and in the domains of gender and sexuality, race and ethnicity, disability, religious belief, and social class. Last, but evidently not least, we face the existential challenge presented by climate change, where understanding and addressing people's attitudes and behavior is as challenging as the physics. These are all issues that have saturated the news media but how do we make sense of them beneath and beyond the headlines? How are they going to play out in the near and distant future? These are the kinds of questions that social scientists grapple with and why in an era of fake news and ideological polarization, people with the con concerns that motivate you and the skills and capacities you have developed over the course of your studies are needed. In fact, I would argue they, you, have never been more important. Of course, where you have developed these skills also matters. As University of Manchester graduates, you have benefited from expert teaching that is shaped by up-to-date knowledge on how best students learn. This knowledge is informed by world-leading research 
across all eight of the disciplinary areas that make up the School of Social Sciences. It is because of our exceptionally talented staff who undertake such research and teaching, and you, the exceptionally talented students who benefit from the curricula that builds on this research, that we are one of the most successful schools of social sciences in the UK. Currently placed 28th out of almost 2,000 institutions in the world, and seventh in Europe. Sociology, social anthropology, politics, philosophy, and economics at Manchester are rated amongst the leading research departments in the UK. In addition, the school has made a core contribution to the University of Manchester's position as number one in the UK and in Europe, and second in the world for its social and environmental impact. You should then all be very confident in the skills and abilities you have developed here. These are highly prized by employers in many sectors and will stand you in good stead whatever career path you take. Some of you will already be clear about what your next steps are. Others will be undecided. At the time of my own graduation ceremony, which took place 40 years ago, I was a little daunted and confused about which direction to go in. And in the end, it actually took me seven years to get a permanent job. I was reflecting on this recently when I found a book that had been left for me in my pigeonhole. I still don't know by whom. It was essentially a self-help book, which is a genre that doesn't rank highly in the estimation of most academics. However, it had a catchy title, 4,000 Weeks, which drew me in, and to my alarm, given that I'm currently in week 3,260, refers to the average lifespan of people in the developed world. Obviously, this is rather less concern to people on this side of the hall, and the book is actually about rejecting the tyranny of to-do lists and outlook calendars, and instead using your time well. As is often the way with academics, this got me looking further into the types of advice handed out by speakers at graduation ceremonies. And what occurred to me at the end of this little piece of research is that much of this advice aligns quite closely with the operating principles of the social sciences, such as, it's important, but also okay to take time to clarify what is the burning issue for you, or in the self-help vernacular, to find your passion. Weigh up all the options, and don't rush to judgment. Take care to filter out the noise, i.e. don't be distracted by irrelevant data. It's absolutely okay to take a particular line that may go against the grain, but be open to the perspectives of others. If you run into problems, take time to reflect and don't be too proud to seek guidance. Above all, trying is not, as Homer Simpson would have it, the first step to failure, but the opposite. A prerequisite for success. All of which means that you actually have most, if not all, of the answers about how to approach the future already at your fingertips as highly trained social scientists. And on that note, I will finish by saying, once again, huge congratulations on your success today. You should be very proud of yourselves, and we certainly are. I hope that you will take away very fond memories of your time here at Manchester, and I wish you all the very best for the future. Do keep in touch with us. Let us know how you're doing. You can do this by following and interacting with us on social media. There are banners with QR codes in the Arthur Lewis and Williamson buildings that will link you directly to all of the university's social media sites. And now I will hand over to Professor Arik Wisjanowski, Head of Social Statistics, who will invite graduands to be presented.
Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Stephanie Cahill. Daniela Conti, Ajinkya Deshmukh, also graduating with the President's Doctoral Scholar, Sodozatwa Guharoy. Ting Liu, <laughs> Zhuo Fei Lu, <laughs> Jing Wen Zhang, <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Arts, Political Science, European Politics and Public Policy, Jacob Dunn. and for the degree of Master of Science, Data Science, Business and Management, Noor Aisa Binti Mohammed Ayub. <laughs> and in Data Science, Environmental Analytics, Shafika Binti Azman. <laughs> Mohammed Hadri Bin Haslimi. and in data science mathematics, Devish Prasad. <laughs> and in data science social analytics, Chu Luk Ho. <laughs> Yasmin Sherif Ibrahim Mohammed Khalifa. <laughs> and in social research methods and statistics. Lawrence Paul Aspin, <laughs> Sheng Ji Gao, <laughs> Postgraduate Diploma, Data Analytics and Society, Mariam Ali, <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economic and Social Studies, Economics and Data Analytics with Professional Experience, with honors. Avnit Biran. <laughs> and in Economics and Data Analytics, with honors. Olivia Marie Boysen. <laughs> Barnaby Defrod. Jayan Kuei, <laughs> Peng Yi Han, <laughs> Zhong Yuan Jin, <laughs> Sandra Suresh Kumar, <laughs> Yin Hei Li, <laughs> Bei Ning Li, Yu Han Liu, <laughs> Sulaiman Manzur, <laughs> Firas Nazir, <laughs> Japan Yang, <laughs> Safiya Zaman Zainab, <laughs> Lushi Jan. When shall you adjourn? <laughs> and in economics and philosophy with professional experience, with honors, Owen King. <laughs> and in economics and philosophy with honors, Aisha Orangzeb. <laughs> Ibrahim Bukvich. 
Amira El Beshri. Christopher Lloyd. Alice Jane Finbau. Phoebe Rebecca Hogg. Thomas Edward Scott. Ruchi Shah. Maximilian Strange. Putri Sofilaya Shazwani. Win Yen Alicia Wong. Wen Yuan Yin. Yi Long Zhang. And in economics and sociology with professional experience. <laughs> with honors. Ella Dalton. <laughs> Cosmin Ittori. And in economics and sociology, with honors, Rina Abe, Alana Bresnian, Sikun Chen, Daisy Mason, Holly Susanna Thomas. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Social Sciences, Philosophy and Criminology with honors, Penelope Ibotson, <laughs> Georgia Rose Knopp, <laughs> Elsa Joyce Maneggio, <laughs> and in Social Sciences, Philosophy with honors, Tabitha Hall. Georgie Sophia Keeley, and in social sciences, politics and criminology, with honors, Scarlett Cannon Garrity, Jemima Carroll, Madeline Carson. Myret Casey, Miranda Imelda Eaton, Honey Hipgrave, Mary Anna Johnston, Sarah Logan Merchant. Kiera Minogue, <laughs> and in social sciences, politics and data analytics, with professional experience, with honors, Adam Lynch, <laughs> and in social sciences, politics and data analytics, with honors, Samuel Ponton. And in social sciences, politics and philosophy, with professional experience, with honors, Ha Nahi Lee, <laughs> and in social sciences, politics and philosophy, with honors, Sofina Shiba Akhtar, <laughs> Marina Bolo. Hannah Beecham, Harry Bolton, 
Faye Coleman, Paige Davey, Karen Fessy, Amy Fuller, Isabel Kate Holden, Andrew Kinder, Carmen Lau, Shu Hao Liu, Dominic Lynch, Benjamin Harry Monzai, Lily Maud at McAllister Sutton, Megan May Milburn, Elizabeth Mills, Alina Rizwan. Garima Zagar, Charlie Stegel, Tyrion Williams, and in social sciences, politics with honors, Nathan Campanale. Esme Freya Campbell, <laughs> Nathrin Gordon, <laughs> Arthur Hayes, <laughs> Maya Junior Shepherd, <laughs> Olivia Rosa McKeown. Max William Morris, <laughs> Jennifer Fizakerly, <laughs> Ella Kate Pritchard, <laughs> Eliana May Riley Guyu, <laughs> and in social sciences. And in social sciences, sociology and data analytics, with honors. Jia Chen, <laughs> Yi Fen Li, <laughs> Jackson Liu, <laughs> Bolakale Sanyaolu. Tamar Singer, <laughs> Jessica Upton, <laughs> Yifei Wu, <laughs> and in social sciences, sociology and philosophy with honors, Francis Hickton. George Oliver Keelock, <laughs> Ho Chin Astrid Kwok, <laughs> Tiana Naomi Mackay, <laughs> Su Xuan Shi, <laughs> Alois Taylor, <laughs> Molly Walters. and in social sciences, sociology with professional experience, with honors. Joseph Wilson.
and in social sciences, sociology with honors, Mila Persaud Drennan. Anya Elizabeth Gregory. Christy Lyons. Talab Mai Mushamp. Spike Bernard Ellis Ion Sharkey. Isabel Spink. Daniel Thomas. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, Philosophy and Criminology with honors, Ario Leo Farzat. And in social sciences, politics and data analytics with honors, Fabian Francis Tiernan Gordon. And in social sciences, politics and philosophy with honors, James Yorn. And for the degree of Bachelor of Social Science in Sociology with honors, Grace Aladazuru, <laughs> Sophie Jackson, well. You're now all graduates of the University of Manchester. So before we finish, I'd just like to take a moment just to acknowledge all of those who've helped you reach this point. Now, I'd like to start with all who have taught you, who've guided you, who've examined you, and have passed you. And then the people who maintain the environment around us, who support the learning that takes place here, all those who work invisibly to ensure that you can focus entirely on your studies. So please join with me in thanking the incredible staff at our university, many of whom are represented here today on the stage. Then there are those who have given so much of themselves to get you to this point, your parents, families, friends and supporters, many of whom are with us today, and of course the many more who are unable to be here to share this special occasion. So I'd like you just to ask this, uh, the new graduates to stand and applaud all your supporters and friends and show them your appreciation. And now to our new graduates. Let me just finish by congratulating you, by asking all of our guests today to stand and congratulate you on your magnificent achievement. I wish you every success, every happiness in your future lives and careers. I now declare this graduation ceremony closed. If 
i could ask everyone to stand up for the final procession.